What they did to me, man, was terrible. I don't do that to nobody. You didn't even do it to a dog. Miguel Feliz says he still has nightmares about the night when Jersey City police officers delivered kicks instead of first aid when he needed it the most while he was on fire. They just started kicking me and kicking me. They broke four of my ribs. They kicked me here. Cell phone video from the June 4th incident shows the aftermath of the officer's chase after a suspect named Leo Pinkston through the streets of Jersey City. That chase ended when Pinkston crashed his vehicle along routes 1 and 9 and slammed into Miguel's sedan, which then burst into flames with Miguel trapped in the driver's seat. I couldn't get out from there and my seatbelt didn't want to come off. So I was battling with that. I was already on fire. The officers also fired shots at Pinkston, their suspect, as he ran away. That's when the officers spotted Miguel, who managed to escape from his burning car. The officers apparently mistook the 28-year-old grocery delivery driver for their suspect, Pinkston. And then finally, I see the cops, and I'm thinking that this guy's going to help. I'm on, I'm on fire. And I just see them with the guns drawn, and I heard, like, in the voice, they were, like, so... Mad. Miguel's lawyer says the officers were in the wrong on several counts, beginning with a wild street chase, firing their weapons, and ending with them offering Miguel what appears to be violence instead of help. It's really outrageous conduct, and we're going to address that in, in the lawsuit. Four of the Jersey City police officers have been indicted. Officers Eric Kaczynski and M.D. Khan appeared in court Friday. He fired at this man to try and prevent some innocent person from being killed, which Mr. Pinkston almost accomplished anyway. Mr. Kaczynski should have been commended, not indicted. The president of one of Jersey City's police unions tells PIX11, quote, we have a great deal of respect for the legal process that will let our officers have a chance to tell their story regarding the entirety of the incident. Once they do, we believe they will be exonerated. Miguel ultimately spent more than a month in the hospital. You suffered burns over how much of your body? 30%. This third degree. The four officers face several criminal charges ranging from aggravated assault to attempted murder. They're due back in court in January. As for Miguel, he's still recovering from the injuries he suffered right at this spot and has yet to go back to work.